Happy holidays, guys. And I want to start out by saying it's an honor to be here with veterans and their family members and anybody associated with helping veterans. I'm a retired veteran, 32 years in the United States Army. I retired from the United States Army Band just a year ago. Uh, career musician, but along the way, I discovered an additional passion that I had, and that was filmmaking, I guess is what you would say. So um, I started my own company on the side about 10, 12 years ago. And again, along the way, I began producing projects for the Army Band that they would use for live concerts. So as the band's playing, you've got a film or content up on the screen that the audience could also enjoy. It would enhance the, the, the program. Uh, that developed into, they became addicted to having those visual enhancements to the music for live concerts. And doggone it, they needed to create a full-time video producer position. So I was able to change careers without leaving the building and uh, finished up my last four years in the Army Band as uh, the first video producer. Um, I'm here really... Reiterate that, though, that you started this while you were in the service. I did, in fact, start this while I was active duty in the you Army. You start thinking about this earlier now. Right, that's true. Uh, not knowing where it was going, the real point to that is I discovered a passion. And I think everybody here that's looking for something along the way Pay attention to that. Pay attention to the thing that excites you. You're looking at options now, but something, whether it's the challenge, the creative opportunity, uh, something that just fits you personality-wise or skill sets or experience or your interest, your sense of discovery, your questions, that passion is what you need. You need to hold on to that, okay? Because uh, you don't know where that's going to go. Uh, but I don't think it'll mislead you. It'll make you happy to be doing what you're passionate about. I can never compete with the presentation you just saw. I don't have that sort of business set up for you guys. I'm not encouraging you to go into filmmaking, okay? I mean, if, if you discover that's something you're interested in, great. Believe it or not, we've had a couple of wounded vets that came through this program and have gone into photography and filmmaking. So it really does happen. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I, oh, I don't doubt it. I, and especially with the visual arts, and the key is storytelling. People identify with human stories. They want to hear those stories. And if you find that you kind of, I don't know about you, but all my life I'd be watching a film or something on television, and I would give up. I'd like, sure, I'm, I'm buying in. Tell me the story. And then I'd see something technically that got in the way. A bad camera move, bad writing, bad acting, bad directing. And I'd go, oh, doggone it. It was so good. And I just found those things bothered me because I was really interested in clear storytelling. And that's kind of, as a musician, it's really much the same thing. Um, I do have a film I'm going to show you, okay? Um, the first special, and really is the reason I'm here, I'm here to tell you guys about the first special service force. Who here has ever heard of the Black Devils? One of you, two of you. What do you know about the Black Devils? Okay, well, you've heard it. I mean, it's one of those names like, yeah, of course I heard it. Same thing for me. When I found out about these guys, it's a cool story. I'm not going to get into it. It was through a friend of mine. I thought, why don't I know about them? Now, this is after 25 years of being in the Army, being in the Army band, playing at Arlington Cemetery. I was in ceremonial <clears throat> band. I did that for decades. Okay? I have a certain um, awareness, a certain uh, concern and care and love for veterans and their families. Um, I've been there when they've laid them to rest hundreds and hundreds of times. Um, and when I found out about these guys, I'm like, why don't I know who the first special service force is? That was the beginning of my journey. Um, I'm going to tell their story. Now, I, I do have the DVDs. Part of my business is that I sell the DVDs. I have some here for you if anybody's interested. This is the director's cut. The DVD is, that I have is two hours long. Okay, the film I'm about to show you is about 45 minutes. So I'm glad you've all eaten and you're comfortable and you're warm and dry. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, the title of the film is Victory Remembered Legacy of the Black Devils. The reason I chose that title, the title changed as I was already in production with these guys. I was traveling with veterans and their family members to Europe <coughs> on the 70th anniversary of the liberation of Rome. These guys were involved with that. And what I discovered as a storyteller was that it, 
my story wasn't going to just be they fought here, here's what they had to say about it, and they fought here, here's what they had to say about it. What I found out along the way was that these family members were making these sojourns back to where their fathers and grandfathers and uncles fought and died because they had questions. It affected their entire lives, what these guys experienced in World War II. Now you see lots of war films. We've all watched that sort of thing and paid attention, especially this group. Um, and I, my goal is to keep sharing this story. Um, I have found myself able to present it to a variety of groups, veterans groups, and if while you're watching this or in the course of thinking about it, you think this would be really great if these folks saw this. Okay, over at the hospital, I showed it on um, uh, Veterans Day at a um, uh, foreign, uh, an American Legion group in uh, Arlington. Um, and other, other groups, and I've had some screenings. This Thursday, I'm showing it at Liberty University. All right, so I've also used it to raise money for, v, uh, for also for VFWs, where, you know, they, they, we, we charge at the door, all the proceeds go to help that local VFW. So it can be a tool. If you think it might be helpful to some people, then uh, you know, let's talk about that. I have some business cards, and we have not run it yet, but I think we're gonna go ahead and start the film. If there's time afterwards, you guys hanging around, I can talk about my process, making the film. Um, I did, maybe along the way, I did everything. Okay, I produced this, I directed it, I shot it, I edited it, I hired a composer, a friend of mine, so all of the music is an original score, all right, which is a nice, you know, you don't get that all the time. Um, I was, and I was able to do it because the technology has reached a point where anybody in this room that wants to be a storyteller can pick up a camera and edit a film on their computer. I edited this entire film on my laptop, okay? I shot it with one camera that I carried around climbing the mountains in Italy and France, all right? So, in Helena, Montana. Uh, .com, I have, a face, uh, I have a Facebook page, but I also have a website, and you can find information there and share that as well.